Just got me some wheels right hurt I take you what <laughs> Welcome to the channel if you've never been here before and welcome back if you have. Today is new wheel day. I got a new box from a guy on Instagram. He runs a company called RC Forge. They make custom RC wheels. One nines, two twos, um, that's really all I've seen him make. He makes custom widths and everything. And this is the box that I got from him. So we will go over that. I will show you. I have no plans for these, so we'll just, uh, I just bought them because they were cool. <clears throat> um, this is thanks to Jordan. If you guys watch my Monday Night Live on YouTube, 7 p.m. on Mondays, you will know that Jordan is one of my good friends. He tagged me in a post and said, hey, you should check these out. And I was like, all right. And it was one through four. And I was like, I don't know which one I want. And then so I hit him up and was like, hey, um, how much for these three? And he was like, this much. But how about this? And I was like, oh, okay. So what I ended up with was oh a very nice packaged box like your mom so now my subscribers would know that uh some of these were coming if you don't know yet you can hit the join button on the channel and uh you can become a channel member and it's just for a few dollars a month you'll get to see behind the scenes and things that other people don't get to see and behind the scenes videos that people don't get to see and everything like that so that's just you know just an option just let me know so First up, we have, I'll go in a little bit of an order of how I like them. Um, these guys here. Oh, these are, what, what? I thought he was just wrapping these in plastic. These are like heat, it's like a heat trunk shrink. Dang, these are sick. All right, got that. I can't remember, he has weird names. I'll put it up on the screen what he calls these things. Um, he's got like, it's a Saigon, Saigon 1, 2, through like 13 or so. I don't remember. If they have a name, I don't remember. I've been looking at a lot of wheels lately. I'm not too sure these have a name. So these are machined and then they are, looks like powder coat. Oh, what is that? Wait a minute. I thought that was black. This is actually like a metallic blue that there is no way I'm going to get on camera like this. So I'll give you an up close shot here. So I got these, they are very nicely packaged. Uh, the one thing I will say is he has taken some notes from like locked up and these are all individually wrapped in like a cellophane and then heat shrunk. So they are all protected. Um, this one does have a little mark on it, but that doesn't really matter. Now these are, I guess what you'd call like old school style bead locks. So instead of having the two pieces that come together, you have two rings. Does make them a little harder to put together, take apart, etc., etc. But I like these a little better for especially wider wheels. Um, I'm not 100% sure where these are all going to go. But I do like this style wheel on some things. Especially if you have tires that are hard to mount with like the two piece coming together with the ring in the center. These can actually help you a lot because you can mount one side and then you can kind of push this up through and have the beads sitting there and then put the ring on. And then when you let it go, the wheel kind of comes back to the middle. Uh, so they can be easier to mount than some other wheels, but then some technically not because there's more bolts. It just depends on how you look at it, what tire you're using, etc., etc. So I got these super, super stoked about that. I didn't really like these in the pictures, but they're actually really cool. They're remachined. So he's got the slots in here that are remachined. So everything inside the spokes and then the lug nut holes are all machined. Those are super, super cool. Awesome. Next, we have these. Uh, this is what I would call like a 10, 12 hole, like a bullet style wheel kind of, but there's more holes and they're smaller. And then another thing I did not notice from the pictures, these have little like swirly bob, uh, kind of like, um, kind of like typhoons. Uh, but I'm not real sure. So they have little, I'll, I'll just have to show you. Okay, so these are a, let's see, one, two, three, four, six. These are 12 hole wheels. As you can see here, cause I'll put it in the little B-roll jazz. They have like little swoopy doos. Um, I don't really know what to call that. They're just like little milled kind of teardrop looking things off of the holes. And I did not see those in the pictures. So these are actually all so far cooler 
in person than what I thought they were online because you could actually see some of the detail. These are sick. They, oh, and my favorite, I'm a big milled face guy. Uh, I want to see sometimes like the mill path. I think that's actually super, super cool. And he has done that. Like, so these aren't super smooth in the little teardrop looking dudes. And uh, I think that's awesome. I do believe they all go the same way, Ugh, which takes my ADD and my OCD a little bit because now one's going to swoop you one way and then on the other side of the truck they'll swoop you the other way. But it is what it is. It's okay. It's not. I'm not going to freak out about it. It's all right. Um, I don't care. These are somewhere around an inch and a quarter wide. I cannot find my tape measure at all. Yeah, I don't know where it is. So if you see it somewhere and I'm just dumb, leave a comment. Well, don't leave a comment because I'm dumb. Just leave a comment if you see the tape measure. Anywho, these are kind of cool. I don't know what they're going to go on. Uh, they're a little more old school, but not like 90s, early 2000s welds old school. They're kind of like uh, late 80s, early 90s old school. So I'm not sure what I'll do with these. They will go on something. They kind of would look cool on the van, I think, maybe. Uh, I thought about polishing these out because none of these are polished. They're... Um, wouldn't necessarily call them machine finish, but they're like, I don't know, not, they might have been like blasted really, really fine, like with the powder or something. I'm not 100% sure. These wheels are all drilled for the 24 hole rings. So anything VP or VP knockoff, 24 hole, etc., etc., will work. He does do really quality work and he seems to be pumping out wheels quite often. So if you see anything you like, make sure to hit up RC Forge on Instagram and let him know that I sent you. Next, we have these guys. Uh, I have some, what the hell balls? These are like double drill. Oh, this, that's wild. Hang on, let me open these, I'll show you. 12 seconds later. These are uh, five, I can't remember. He has weird names for these things. These honestly remind me a lot of the Ikaris, Ikaris, however you say that, from Locked Up, but they're a little different and they're a little wider. And I actually kind of like these better because they have more offset, uh, negative offset, I believe, so that way they have a little fatter lip. So these holes, the big ones, almost look like hearts. They're not completely flat on top. They have like a little poopy doo And then now all of the holes in the middle Six of them are for the SLW hub, and then six of them are just uh, pretty. They're just part of the wheel and part of the design. Super, super cool. The nice thing about these wheels is since it does have a 24 bolt ring uh, spacing on the rear, on the wheels, whatever, you can use the slim black or whatever color you wanted to. You can use regular, just cheap run of the mill rings for the backs, and then you can put your fancy rings up front. So that is actually really helpful because if you're like me and you have a bazillion million wheels and they're all come with these and then you put different rings on them, you just got a shitload of these things. I've sold some of them, but I still have a bunch. So you can put these on there and then you can put cool rings on the front and, uh, you know, you can go from there. And these are honestly not priced terribly. Um, they're probably, once you buy rings and everything, probably right up there with anything else uh, with vision or vp or anybody like that and i uh i like them a lot so i think after a little bit of polishing on the lips these are going to be super sick and last but definitely not least these are my favorite i don't know what he calls these but they're like five star and they have a big open design in the middle super super rad by far my faves i'm hoping i can put a ring on these that will actually line up and do like a whoop whoop in the middle or something or do like a little foop foop over the face of the wheel where the actual design so cover that or cover the middle i'm not sure he gave me a killer deal on all four and uh you know i got all of them and so for shipped they were uh they were very nice he is actually a super nice guy i gave him a couple ideas i had as well and we may be running with those so if you are looking for even more custom wheels than i have ever showed you to begin with another company that i would highly suggest going with is RC Forge. Check him out on Instagram. I don't know if he has a Facebook, um, but I have seen him on Instagram. He posts lots of stuff, uh, posts what he's doing every day, etc, etc. So if you're looking for some quality wheels at a really good price, I would highly suggest these. Um, 
I will beat on them or mount them up to something and see what happens, but uh, I don't see any problems that are just glaringly coming out at me. So uh, that is all. I hope you enjoyed the wheel day. Basically, probably one of my favorite days. It's right up there with new truck day. Uh, I like collecting wheels, as you've all seen if you've watched the channel for any amount of time. I don't know why, but it is what it is. So, if you do like what I'm doing, check me out on Facebook, Facebook groups, and Instagram, Bullman Built RC across the board. If you join the group, please answer the freaking questions. That's all we ask. And uh, then check us out Monday nights live on YouTube, 7 p.m. Eastern, whatever time that is for you. Stick around for the bloopers, and I will see you later. Bye! Yeah. End it. Forge. If you don't know who runs that, is a... Shit, I can't remember his name. I got a new box off a... Uh, nope, that's not actually what I did either. Carlo. Carlo. Shit, what was his name? Custom RC Wheels. One, one, or one, one, one. Cricket gives us like a country vibe, like we're just out in the middle of the country. You know what I mean? These are all 24 hole wheels. RC Forged. RC Forged? Shut up, Cricket! If you see it, just stomp on it. Hiya! Give it your best, Bruce Lee. Start talking like this. Got me some wheels, right? Hurt. I take you. What? VP wheels or rings? God damn it! Come on, cricket. No, no, no. I bless you. Just do it. I can't. <laughs> also, to mention, these are also. Oh no, that's a lot of also's. Over the fray of the. I hate crickets. I know that much. And stay tuned for the. All right. Power's gonna go out, and we'll just be like. I'll just be in the middle of talking. So. <laughs>